That got us thinking. So what can we do now while the economy is so volatile? Rose Schmidt joins us live. Now, Rose, you went to financial experts for easy ways we can stretch our dollars during this time. I sure did, Randy. And a local wealth advisor tells me relieving financial stress all comes down to one question. Is it a want or a need? You know $100 won't get you as far at the grocery store. So in the long term, make a financial plan. And short term, cut back this summer. Ask pretty much anyone how they feel about current gas and food prices. It's outrageous. <laughs> I really don't like it. it and you'll probably get answers like these. Um, the last couple of weeks after grocery shopping, for example, I noticed I can't really go to like the stores I normally go to. I gotta really hit the clearance and the discounts. And a Minnetonka-based wealth advisor thinks he's got a good strategy. Maybe you're spending more money filling up your gas tank. Well, what are some other things that maybe need to go? Nicole Middendorf says go into the grocery store with a set list of items and a set dollar amount you want to spend. Then stick to it. It's all about going back to the basics and setting a budget. If you have $4,000 coming in and you have $4,200 going out every single month, you've got to fix something. A recent survey from the American Psychological Association found that 87% of Americans say the rising prices of everyday items is a significant source of stress. Minendorf is definitely hearing that in conversations with clients. What should I do? Is there a recession? What's happening? Um, and that's the biggest thing is don't panic. People shouldn't be panicking, but people are because of what we're hearing out there. But to decrease that stress, maybe you could increase your cash flow, start a business on the side, or pick up seasonal work. And another strategy to ease you through pain at the pump, hold off on big ticket items. Keeping the lights on and food in my fridge is a little more important than some bigger things I've been wanting recently. And the wealth advisor we spoke with also says it is a good time to invest. So think about the long term. Look at your 401k plan and your other investments. If you're getting close to retirement, look at how much money you have in bonds. Then decide if you need to make a change somewhere. Randy, Kelsey. All right, Rose, thank you.